as we were doing it, it was, I really hope I don't lacerate this patient's heart as I stick this large needle into their chest under ultrasound guidance. So this clip, they're describing a pericardiocentesis, which is not something we do all that often in the emergency department and we have to do it. It's, it's pretty harrowing. In fact, Andy, I can remember the first time I did this on a live patient, I was actually already in attending. Now, I had simmed it multiple times, and the resident looked at me afterwards in, in this look of amazement. It was a successful ultrasound-guided pericardiocentesis and said, how many times have you done this before? And I said, dozens, but this was my first time on a real patient, and their jaw dropped. I think that falls into the halo category against so that high acuity, low opportunity procedure to where there's a vast number of things in emergency medicine that we sim and that we read about and that we practice on dummies or other models that I know there's a, a pretty high chance I'm never going to do this. But when the seconds matter, I have to have competency and confidence to do. I still remember the first time I did it. It was my first three months I was in attending. And it was, again, one of those, we decided to do it. We found it. We did something about it. And you know, it was kind of those miraculous, like, man, I'm glad we did it. But at the same time, like as we were doing it, it was, I really hope I don't lacerate this patient's heart as I stick this large needle into their chest under ultrasound guidance. 